All right, back from match four after two devastating losses. Uh, what do I think about this hand? So what are what are the good draws? I mean, any fairy, any threat. So that's like plus any cantrip. Ten. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I think this is fine. I mean, I just got punished for a loose keep in my last match, but uh. All right. Well, that already makes it better. So, in terms of this Ash Barons, should I cycle it? I think I will. Oh, jeez. Kill Fiend. Okay, that's bad. This is... a terrifying matchup. Very miscreant? Okay. Hmm. That could be good. But I can't, I kind of need to hold up Spell Slutter this turn. Yeah, and I do need a plane to bolt. Not really play into it, it's just a trade. So it's fine. I mean, it's bad, but okay, got it. And we'll just take four here. All right, looks like what's missing land drops, so that's good. And I probably will be looking to chomp with this fair miscreant unless they draw a tribe, which would be amazing. Nope. Definitely need to play this fair miscreant potentially to chomp. I don't really like this matchup that much. Alright, if I'm going to gushes, I definitely need to jump. They might they might not even give me the chance to. So I cut a lot of my um, pyro. So oh, I cut a pyroblast. Sorry, a hydroblast for a uh, spontaneous mutation. Spontaneous mutation is all right, but it's a little bit slow. And this is the matchup which I really miss. Hydroblast. I also don't like this matchup in general. I think um, the opponent can be really flat, really fast. At this point, basically, you just need to hope he. I mean. There's really very little chance of him missing because he has a lot of free spells, plus he gets Team of Battle Rage to just instantly win. Okay, well, no. No Team of Battle Rage, at least. If he has a Bolt and a free spell, he wins. I'm like a trillion percent chomping. Looks like I might not have a bolt either. All right. Well, oh, that was very. That was exceedingly lucky. <laughs> wow. That was. That was beyond lucky. So I need to attack. Um, I do need to kind of put pressure and draw uh, draw a tribe. I'm kind of protected this turn because my opponent gushed, kind of went all in, which I think might have been probably, or there's a good chance that was the right play, but oh, yes. This is very good. A good chance it was the right play, but um, it didn't work, so it put him very hard behind, and now I'm in a great spot. Potentially combo back and win.
Thermal Alchemist. So I will just counter that, I think. Looks like this might be the, um, this is actually a build I like. This is the Thermal Blitz. I think it's actually quite strong. Um, but this is, this isn't the matchup for it. Thermal Blitz is very good against fair decks. This is, uh, well, it's really good against Blue Red Delver, or like it's much better against Blue Red Delver. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess the build is... No, the build should be... The build is specifically good against a lot of removal. And I'm not playing any removal, so... It's probably worse against me. So far I had that I will play around Gush. Kiln Fiends, that I will just counter. Alright, so I kind of got nuts against my opponent. Uh, you know, I think this is just a good shot to go, good time to go for it, so I will. I didn't get it, but <clears throat> I think it's still fine. This is playing a bit loose at this point. Um, I do need a I think I'm okay this turn, probably, because uh, I can circular logic his team of battle rage. Hopefully, it'd be an issue if he plays double. Okay, that, I'm gonna let Thermal Alchemist resolve. Another Kiln Fiend. Hmm. I think I'll probably just counter this. So, I still have one more counter spell. Okay, this spell is a good draw. Uh, so I think I probably will start out by killing his Thermal Alchemist. So I think I'm still safe. That's that's a key here, because I drew that um, dispel. I think I'm safe for one more turn, which I think is all I need at this point to close the deal. Okay. Okay, so Lucis Belfast. Another <laughs> Lucis Belfast. Okay, so now my fairies kill. Yeah, I think my opponent's build is one that is better against um, against decks, fair decks because it kind of plays around removal. Uh, my deck doesn't play removal, 
and it's also not really fair. So ends up probably, I would say this is probably a bit worse than normal blitz against fine. But I'll take it. Thank God. <sighs> All right, so I do want... So I do want Hydro Blast. I don't think I really want augers. Uh, spontaneous, spontaneous mutations are probably good. Echoing Truths probably isn't good enough. I think I probably would rather try to dispel his um, cards like that. So I think I do want some copy, some number of spontaneous mutation, just to kind of like, just to uh, slow him down a little bit. Because kind of like one of the ways that deck works is through chip damage. I think I definitely want all my inside outs. It can kill thermos, it might be able to flip humor battle rage. So maybe I don't want all my circle logics. Maybe I don't want all my shadow roofs. Do I even want spontaneous mutation? Or do I just want? Or do I just want to go for the combo? Uh, spontaneous mutation probably doesn't do enough. This is a match where I really miss my hydro blast. Actually, I'll probably take a gig drowse. That seems. Like, it could do some work in this matchup. Do I want circular logic? Maybe Ninja is a bit slow. Ninja probably is a bit slow. Is my opponent playing Gut Shots? Gut Shot is a good card to play. I wouldn't be surprised if he is playing those. So what should my last card be? Shadow Rift? Given that I have all my pieces, combo pieces in, Shadow Rift probably is the right call. I even have Giga Drowse in. Alright. This is a hand that has a plan which is just try to kill my opponent with the Hallow's Tribe very early on. So I'm going to go for that. This is the first time I've got one of these hands. All the other hands have kind of been slowish. Which uh, probably makes sense because I haven't been doing well. Uh, Actually, what I mean by that is my, my hands haven't, um, my draws have been relatively below average, I think, maybe, so, I don't know, anyways, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've had one of these combo draws, and so, I'm in good shape to go for it. So my opponent um, does have to build, does have to play a little bit carefully. If he doesn't have another creature, it's going to be hard for him to attack with Kiln Fiend. I don't know if he's also missing a land drop, which will also make it rough.
Well, even if he has another creature, I can't block, so I just have to let this through. Yep. So the question is, am I dead next turn? Do I have one more turn, or do I need to go, to go for it immediately? If I go for it immediately, my chances to draw Shadow Rift are pretty low. Hmm. Yep, so I think I just wait one more turn. Try to do what I can to survive this turn. I do need to. I need. I do need to do a bunch of discarding. Okay. Let me discard Tireless Tribe. It's not gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna have enough cards to kill him because I've Gush. But this is gonna be a close one. I think I do have to block here. I mean, I, I can afford to block here, I think. I think I kind of have to block because my opponent has two spells. I'm just dead. Maybe yeah, I should have cycled first. Probably doesn't matter too much. Alright, and then this turn, I do need to go for Shadow Rift, probably. I don't think I don't think I can survive another turn. Unless I draw Hydro Blast. Wait, no, he has no blockers. So Unless he has gut shot, he's just dead, I think. Okay, well. So I think, oh, okay, he just, my opponent just lets me take it. Okay, well, I mean, unless he has gut shot, I would have won this game. So, all right. Uh, I didn't need to draw Shadow Rift there because my opponent just attacked. I kind of forgot. Um, in, which, in which case, Gush was very good because it gave me enough cards for the, hill, for the kill. Um, yeah, and I even drew two pieces of protection, though I couldn't use the second one because um, it's a bit awkward because I didn't have a land drop. So I couldn't make sure that I had four four mana in combat. So I just gush first and pray that he if he had a, he had a removal spell, he just played it right now for some reason. I, I can use my extra mana. That would have been a way for me to beat gush shot, but didn't need it. So GG's.